Hi, my name is Pat, and this is my channel, Book Chat with Pat, and I'm glad that you're here. Today is Saturday, April 20th, and this is my weekly wrap-up. Um, since April began, I've been do doing a daily short video uh, where I've been just reading a single poem by a poet of, of note, uh, and I've, I've been doing that throughout the month of April for National Poetry Month. And I'm going to continue doing that through the end of the month. This week, I presented poems by Robert Hayden, Robert Frost, Adrian Rich, uh, John Dunn, Herman Melville, and Wendell Berry. For the next few days, I'm going to be presenting poems by William Shakespeare because we're approaching April 23rd which will be the 460th birthday of William Shakespeare. I also did this week a Poetry Thursday episode where I talked about the former poet laureate of the United States, Billy Collins. And I presented, uh, I think, four of his poems, uh, three of which were poems that I used to like to teach uh, when I was working with students in, in high schools. And, and the last was his poem, uh, The Names, which he was asked to write and to present to a joint session of Congress on the first anniversary of the fall of the Twin Towers. Um, <clears throat> in addition, uh, this week after I posted my video on Billy Collins, uh, I received in the mail another book by Billy Collins, uh, which I didn't own uh, when I was doing my, my, my video. Uh, and this is a collected um, anthology, New and Selected Poems, Sailing Alone Around the Room. This is a relatively early volume, uh, and this is really the book that I think put him uh, kind of pushed him uh, into the forefront uh, among, uh, um, among poets. Um, and I had seen this book before, but I, I, I didn't own it. Uh, and I, I just read this uh, yesterday. Um, more, many of his famous poems are, are in here, but, but many I had never read before. So beautiful, beautiful collection. Um, I'm also reading... Uh, this beautiful book by uh, Naomi Shihab Nye, Everything Comes Next, Collected and New Poems. Just a beautiful cover on this, on this book. Um, and if you um, didn't see it, you, uh, you should definitely check out um, Hannah uh, at Hannah's Books. Uh, she did a beautiful reading this week, also um, on, on Thursday, for Poetry Thursday, of um, uh, one of um, one of Naomi Shihab Nye's uh, truly beautiful and famous poems, Kindness. So check out Hannah's um, uh, Hannah's reading of of that poem, and I'll put a link to her in uh, in my notes. Um, <clears throat> additionally, uh, I have been um, reading continuing <laughs> my reading for Classics and Company. I've been continuing my reading of Victor Hugo's Les Miserables. Um, I think last week when I talked about this, I had like just hit page 700. Um, I'm in the 900s now, <laughs> so some might say I'm in the home stretch. Uh, but I still have several hundred pages to go. Um, I am loving our discussion of, of this book. I'm, I'm in a Voxer group where we're, we're talking about this book. Um, I, I think many of us are experiencing frustrations with the sort of long-winded digressions, but the, uh, the novel, um, the rest of the novel around the digressions, the the, uh, the the story of the main characters. I think we all are finding ourselves pulled uh, pulled into this um, incredible novel. I do believe I will have to read this book again at at some point um, when I'm uh, able to read it at uh, maybe at my at my leisure. Uh, I think this is a book 
that people come back to uh, again and again. Um, I am continuing to uh, read for the quarterfinals of the Booktube Prize. Uh, this uh, round I'm reading fiction and I'm starting today my fourth novel, four out of six for this round. So I think I'm, I'm on pace. I think I'm, I'm in pretty, pretty good shape. Um, the first two books that I read for this round, I adored. The third one I liked very much. This is a really strong round. Um, the first two were my favorites so far, and I don't mean to be teasing like this. I will talk about all of these when the round is, is, is over. Um, I am uh, also reading um, with a group, uh, the group read for People April. Um, actually, I just finished this this morning, Maggie O'Farrell's memoir, I Am, I Am, I Am, 17 Brushes with Death. I have read um, two of Maggie O'Farrell's novels. Um, I, I read Hamnet and I read um, uh, The Marriage Portrait and I adored both of them. Um, Hamnet was my, my favorite. Um, and I, I, I love her writing and I love her writing even in this memoir. Uh, but I have, as I've said in other videos, I have struggled with, with this, this memoir. Um, the writing is breathtaking uh, and, and, and very, very moving. Um, it just feels like too much at, at, at times. Um, they're not really 17 brushes with death, but she's had a lot of brushes with death. A couple of these are not really what we would probably call a brush with death and, um, you know, but she, she still probably has had more than, 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 than most, than most people. Um, her writing about these events is breathtaking and sometimes I feel heart stopping. Um, I, I, I have, I have to think about this, this book more. Um, there's one very, very long chapter where she details a childhood illness that she had, a very serious, life-threatening childhood illness. And, and I, I guess I think that it was that experience um, and having thought she was going to die as, as a child that has definitely informed the rest of, of, her, of her life and has given her this profound sense of her own mortality and, and a sense of the very precarious nature of life itself. Uh, I, I think that incident, and it's more than an incident because it takes place over more than a year, um, but I think that experience early in her life is what has informed the rest of her life and, and this, this sense of being on the brink of death. Uh, quite, quite frequently. Um, I need to sit with this book a little bit longer. As I said, I just finished it. Um, I just finished it this morning. Um, okay. Uh, I am also um, continuing to work on the um, Read 24 in 2024 banned book challenge, which uh, is being sponsored by the wonderful MJ at Reading This Life. Um, and this past week, I presented a video on uh, Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale and also on her uh, graphic novel uh, by the same name. And both of these books are experiencing uh, many challenges and, and bans. And I think um, at the beginning of this school year, the graphic novel was uh, number four on, on the list of most frequently challenged and or banned books. 
um, the next book that I'm reading for this challenge is a book that came out in uh, 2021. And this is Melinda Lowe's Last Night at the Telegraph Club. This is what I'm reading right now. Um, this novel um, is set in 1954 in uh, San Francisco. And the main character, Lily, is the child of uh, Chinese immigrants. Um, <clears throat> the teenaged Lily uh, is finding herself dealing with her parents' immigrant status and certain threats that they are feeling uh, in 1954 uh, San Francisco. Um, but it's also and primarily about Lily's own questioning about her own uh, sexual identity. Um, this novel was awarded all kinds of prizes in its first year in publication. It, it is the winner of the National Book Award for young people's literature. Uh, but it won a bunch of other prizes as well, although that's probably the, the biggest one. But it has also found itself um, on uh, many, many lists of, uh, in, in various places of, of banned books. At the present time, it is being challenged and or banned in uh, 12 different districts in six states. So that's pretty high up there on, on, on the list. Uh, so I thought this was an important book, um, an important book to, to read. And I will do a review of this and, and talk about its banning history uh, in, in the near future when I, when I, finish, um, when I finish the novel. Um, and I think that's about it. I think that's what I've, I've been, been up to. Um, I've been taking suggestions from people for a way that I can uh, participate in uh, mayhem horror uh, next month without uh, keeping myself up at night. And, and MJ has helped me with that and has made uh, a wonderful recommendation. Uh, and I'll talk about that uh, when, when we get um, when we get a little bit a little bit closer. Uh, I'm tempted by many events that are coming up, but I'm going to remember <laughs> what happened to me in March, and I'm going to try to maintain the same level of participation, but also focused participation. Uh, you know that I was able to show in in April. I'm going to try to bring that to uh, to May and June as well. Okay, I think that's about it for this week. Uh, as always, I thank you for watching. I hope that you're doing well. I'll speak with you again soon. Take care.